The British pound continued to rally today on a thumbs up from Brexit Secretary Dominic Raab, who came out of a meeting giving the market some optimism to continue pushing north for Brexit or for pound pricing. And if you look at where we've gone really month to date, technically till from the end of October, we've seen a big rally here in the pound from 126 up to the one mid 130 handle. And right now looking at 134 as the target. 134 is significant only because it's the 50% retracement of the entire Brexit level uh, high and low, which was set back in 2016, but we have yet to, to eclipse it. And, and that would be a key level to, of resistance, I think, he, as we head into Brexit, because while a lot of what we're seeing is bullish, a lot of the technicals are starting to flash. We're seeing some signs of weakness in the euro. Um, and I think that right now the, bre the, the pound itself is, is seeing a very nice run, but may come to a screeching halt without any kind of clarity moving forward. A thumbs up is a nice way to, a nice way to capture some positive uh, momentum, but certainly isn't gonna be enough to take you through that next threshold, that next threshold being 134, still a ways off. But if you look at where we've been recently, down 126 up to 130, we could easily get there, uh, certainly with some help from some of the other major G7 currencies or the EM. But I think right now, uh, the mid low 130s is kind of where we're going to hold, at least until we get more information. And if you look at what's happening via the Bank of England, Mark Carney has his hands full. Uh, if you look at where, where they're looking right now, keeping rates on hold, but now having growth issues. And those are only going to continue. The uncertainty of growth and the uncertainty of, of how the regulatory bodies are going to come together is all intertwined into this thing we call Brexit, which at the referendum in 2016 was pushed forth that the UK would separate itself from the European Union. And I think that right now, some of those uh, uncertainties are becoming clear, but there are still so many of them. And I think that as March uh, of 2019 draws closer, we're going to continue to see maybe a little more angst in the market. So right now we are seeing the euro outperform or the pound outperform the euro. We're seeing the euro perform well against the dollar. We're seeing a lot of things here that they're suggesting that Brexit may be, a, may be getting near the uh, negotiating point where things will start to tip in favor of both sides. Just resolution, I think, right now favors both sides. But again, we haven't had anything and no pen to paper. We haven't seen any kind of resolution that is clearly stated out or is agreed to upon by both sides. And I think that right there is in itself the problem. We see these rallies, they're called hope rallies. Hope has, is, is a bad hedge for, as a trader's perspective. And I think that right now you get to a key level like a 134, it's a level to fade, at least initially, because the market's going to get up there and then all of a sudden we're going to need some kind of technical buying or we're going to need some kind of new money coming in or we're going to need some kind of new news and if there isn't the knots, if the dots aren't dot and the T's aren't crossed on Brexit, it's going to come right back down as quickly as it went up. So right now, seeing very bullish momentum in the pound, but for how long? 134 is a key level to look at if you're a seller.